Gosh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, here we go. Call mom. That's what I'm forgetting. Oh, call dad. I'm forgetting that too. Hmm. Well, if you're anything like me, you have a thousand of these hanging around your cubicle or your office. Fortunately, Outlook allows you to create electronic sticky notes. So let me show you where those are located. They're kind of hard to find. I'm going to go down to uh, my navigation bar on the lower left hand side, and I'm going to click on this three dot menu. I'm going to go ahead and click there, and I'm looking for notes. I'm going to go ahead and click notes. Let me do that again. Click notes. This is going to open you up to a place that you can store electronic versions of sticky notes. You can see I already have one. Remember to call Ethan before the end of the day. I guess I didn't have room to put that on my shirt somewhere. All right, so this is your electronic sticky notes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interface. Very similar to what you might see in other views. On the left-hand side, I can select uh, my notes. Uh, I can create a new notes uh, group if I'd like to. And in the right-hand side, I see the actual content of my note. So let's go ahead and create a new note. I can do that by coming up to the upper left-hand corner and selecting New Note. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Or I can press Control plus N from this view. So now you see I have an electronic version of the sticky note. I can just type in what I'd like. Uh, order, birthday, birthday cake for Elliot. All right. Once I'm finished with my note, I just go ahead and click on the uh, close button. And it's added kind of to my electronic desktop, I guess you could call it. Now I can view these notes uh, by simply clicking on them if I have more, uh, if I have some more text on there, if it's hard to read from there. I can click remember to call Ethan right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and once I want to close it, I just click on the uh, button on the upper right hand corner. Now, this is the default view for this. I can view my notes also in a list version or the last seven days. I'm going to go ahead and click on the more button in this current view group to see all my options. I'm going to go ahead and click that. So if I want to click list, I'm going to go ahead and select that and that shows the more in a list view. Or if I had many notes, I could just see the ones from the last seven days. Now I can forward a note to somebody as well. So if I select a, a note, I'm going to go back to that icon view. So I'm going to go back to, up to current view and click icon. I can go to the actions group and select forward. I'm going to go ahead and click forward. And I can email this note to somebody. So I might say, uh, I might put Ethan in charge of this. And I might say, thanks, Ethan and click send. And he's going to get that electronic sticky note via email. Now here's another handy thing. I can put these notes on my desktop. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and restore down my Outlook uh, application. So I'm going to go up to the upper right hand corner and click that restore down button. I'm going to open up my sticky note and I'm going to simply drag it over to my desktop. And now if you notice, it is on my desktop, so it'll kind of sit there. Now if I close Outlook for the day, it's going to take that off of my desktop. However, if you're like me, I usually leave Outlook running all day. And then at the end of the day, I can check my desktop and make sure that I have attended to all my sticky notes. If I want to close it, I can go ahead and click on that close button. All right. All right, so let me also show you one last thing. If you want to have your notes view on this navigation bar, if you use them quite frequently, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that three dot open menu right down on your navigation bar. And I'm going to select navigation options at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, go ahead and click change my maximum number of visible items. 
up to five and make sure that notes is in the fifth position. If I wanted to, I could select it and move it up or down. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now I have notes on my navigation bar. So if I click mail and I wanted to go back to notes, I could simply select it from there. Now, if you want to reset your navigation bar, simply click that three dot open menu, click navigation options and select reset at the bottom and then OK. And that will take it back to the way it was. All right. So that is how you can use notes in Outlook and save some paper.